Hey, welcome back, Minecrafters. It's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter. Today I'm bringing you an episode on the Cherry Vanilla server. Um, if you'll remember from where we left off last time, I do have a hobbit hole out here, and I have begun building some trees, or growing some trees out here. I've, I've farmed quite a bit of uh, wood, as you can see right in here. Um, I'm trying to get together enough material to build a mob farm. Now, as it happens, right out this door is this little floating island. I didn't do that. That was, you know, naturally spawned in. But I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, as you can see, I've, I've built a, um, a bridge over to it uh, to see what it's like up there. It's just, you know, it's just a floating island. I lit it up so there wouldn't be any, any mobs over there when I uh, went up the next time. So I did put a ladder from the inside up. And uh, I have done a few more improvements. Let's let's take a quick tour. Of course, I've extended my miscellaneous storage. That's right here. Um, this is an input chest that works for my sorting room. Now, my sorting room ha has grown a little bit, and I'm getting ready to expand it. Let's see. We have three, six, seven, eight. So I have eight items that can be sorted right now, including... The two new ones that I just added, which is dark oak and stone, something that I'm getting a lot of. So my goal here is to just, you know, th these are modular. It's just continue this all the way down. Uh, once I've gotten, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 down, I will turn the corner and then come back. So one of the reasons it's as wide as it is, this room I mean, is because the sorting items are going to come all the way up to this this block. I need all this room back here for the redstone. So again this is working pretty nice. Now I, I battled it several times. Turns out, and I don't know if you if you knew this, I certainly didn't, uh, most items stack to 64. Eggs however stack to 16. So what I had done was I had was trying to bring eggs into this. They don't stack the same, and it broke the whole system. Uh, unfortunately, I had eggs almost, you know, at the very beginning, so <clears throat> uh, I did have some challenges. So what I've done is I pull them all out, I put them in here, um, and, and I, <laughs> I need to go up and kill me some chickens because my their egg production is just crazy. I have ten chickens in this little incubator right here, and they are producing quite a few eggs. Um, Anytime I'm up upstairs, they're producing uh, eggs for me. Now, I originally started this course because I like uh, I like pumpkin pie, and as a grandmother, I need to make me some pumpkin pie. And you need a lot of pumpkins, and you need a lot of sugar, and you need a lot of eggs for that here in Minecraft. So I started this to get me a few eggs so that I can build a chicken cooker downstairs, and also to have eggs for my pumpkin pie. So that's working really well. One other thing I've done, let's see, you've seen the sorting room. One other thing I've done is I have added a, a nether portal here. Uh, the one that I had built down in the mine worked until someone else built their own nether portal, and it broke mine. And, and I don't understand that because it's like 500 blocks difference. So it doesn't make any sense to me. I have begun building my enchant room. I do now have it to the point where I can do a 30 level enchant, uh, keeping my um, lapis here. Now I do have a door lock right here. So w if I'm in here and I don't want to be disturbed, I can throw that door lock and it won't matter if they step on the pressure plates outside or not, it will not open for them. Okay, I had hoped to be able to put a piston door in here as well. But the mechanics for this piston door come all the way back to, I think it's right here. Uh, and so I need one, two, three widths here to get it. And I, I don't know, it's, it's a little tight. I may move the nether portal down just a little bit. So I'm also going to be building a brewing uh, workstation, which I'll probably do upstairs as well. So downstairs is the sorting room. Let's unlock this and let's head out. So one of the other things I've done is um, put in piston doors out here uh, and again I've had that lock on it so that 
you know, someone can't just walk up on me and and uh, get in. I have a few little cows over here, not many. Uh, I've been breeding them and killing them, breeding them and killing them. I, I needed the leather for the books. For the books. Um, oh, I guess there are more in here than I thought there were. Well, good. It's time to harvest me some cows. All right, is that everybody? Everybody got a little bite to eat? Come on, this Minecraft crane gotta feed you. Oh, made them little babies jump. Come here. It's lagging a little bit, I think, because I am recording. Oh, that was a different one, wasn't it? Goodness. Now I don't understand why I'm not getting leather more often than, than that. Did I kill six cows? I think I did. Okay, so I've deepened this with the idea that hopefully I can go fishing here. Or maybe make it a pool. Um, I haven't done any landscaping out here. I have, you know, that's the upstairs hallway. Uh, and I do intend to, like I said, build a mob farm out of this. So what I've what I've been doing is gathering resources and building my mine, you know, just mine mining like a fool down there. Uh, I have perhaps 10 or 12 slits cut, about 250 blocks each way, and um, I've I've had a lot of lava. I'm you know I went all the way down to bedrock to start my mine, and unfortunately, you know I'm at I'm at level I think it's six. Yeah, I'm at level six here. So what happens is, each one of these slits, I encounter quite a bit of lava. Now, I'm hoping it won't be as bad on the second tier, but for now, I've got quite a bit of lava I'm encountering. See, when I'm down here mining, if I'm within, what is it, 124 blocks, which is the front half of the mine, um, the chickens are cooking. So I have, let's see how many. Do a quick count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, I thought I had cut ten. Nine and uh, started on that end. I'm about halfway down on this one. Um, I, my inventory filled up, and I had to stop and and uh, come offload things. Now eventually my intention is to bring a minecart all the way down here and all the way back up. Uh, take it right to my loading room. Let's see. Oh yeah, see I, I've made it quite a ways. I'm pretty close actually. So we may finish this while I finish uh, telling you about my plans. So I, I want to be... A oh no. Hello. Did I? Oh yeah, this is where I was. There was there was a lot of lava through here. So yeah, I'm guessing that's what that gravel means. Let's see. We'll be careful. I think. Let's step out just for a second. That way, if it falls, we're we're not in the way. I I think I filled all this in. I just maybe missed that one block. Yeah, I I like to um get this cut, you know, get this where it's all safe. Oh, really? So apparently, apparently missed a little bit there. Yeah, I don't like working around lava. <laughs> Can I just tell you that? I light myself on fire pretty regularly. That's one of the reasons I have a, a thing of water on my hot bar. Uh, put myself out when I catch on fire. Because, you know, it happens. Let's see. We don't have... What I like to do... Um, I like to put the torches on the left going out. And I like to put them at three high. So let's let's do this. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, yeah. Can you say anal retentive? Because uh, that, that's me. I'm a geek, but I, I like to be organized. 
and I have a touch of OCD. <laughs> I, I know you didn't. I know you don't believe me, but I do. It's true. Uh, I have a touch of OCD, and I like things done a certain way. Um, and if they're not done that way, I have to. I have to break it and move on. I have to. I have to go fix it. Uh, what can I tell you? Okay, I like going past this just a bit. Put another torch up, and then come back and get this stuff. That way I've got room to run either way depending on you know what I might encounter because you never know. Uh, lava scares the bejesus out of me. I, I like to be able to run away. Let's fill this in because again anal retentive. I, I like the walls being smooth. It reduces the number of places that people can spawn in. Mobs can spawn in. So I do like to um, you know, to keep it smooth. It's three high, but it's well lit. So as long as there aren't any voids in here, I'm not uh, I'm not getting a whole bunch of mobs. Now you may have noticed the gates at the end of each slit, uh, and that's true on both ends. You know, the front of the mine and the back of the mine, uh, because sometimes inside here uh, we open up into a cavern, and it is possible that I might not get that cavern lit as well. Um, and uh, if somebody spawns in there, I want to be, I want to keep them within the part of the mine, not not allow them to wander around, find me up in my bed uh, upstairs because you know they have free reign. So um, I used to put a, uh, a set of cobblestone top and bottom so that there was a one high opening in the middle. Um, that did the same thing, but you know I was constantly knocking them down, moving them around. You know, using it like a gate. I was I was using my pick to knock it down and then go forward. Uh, well, you know, it's I, my mines are huge, so that winds up being a lot of extra use on my pick that didn't need to be there. So I've gotten smart, smarter. Uh, and I've, I'm now using the uh, the gates. So that way, mobs still can't get out of here. Oh, look, there's a zombie pigment. He scared me. He scared me so bad. <laughs> I thought, uh, I didn't know what it was. So I don't like him wandering around my house, but, you know, what are you going to do? I do have a portal right up here. Uh, this was my original portal. In fact, it, it was right here. And it was all linked up. It did really well. If I went through, you know, it took me right to my portal in the nether. If I came back, it, it brought me right here. Now, watch what happens. Um, it's gotten unsynced. And look at this. We are... We're hugely away from where I should be. Now, my original uh, portal popped out at negative 100 uh, slash 77 on the Z axis. Now, as you can see, negative 37. Uh, I am about 70 or you know 60 blocks too far from the X, and I'm 50 blocks too far from the Y. I'm sorry, the Z. I cannot explain why this jump the way it did. I, I mean, it's just... Let's see, let's go to spawn. And I'll show you where I had it originally. So, you know, you know how it works uh, when you are creating a portal. You put together your portal in your world. You write down the coordinates, the X and the Z. Uh, it's been my understanding that the Y didn't matter. As long as the X and the Z were correct, the Y did not matter. So my actual uh, portal was located at negative, what, 817, 611. So I did the math, and come on, come on, let me out, let me out. Let's see, I did the math, and that led me to this corridor right down here. All of these are potential exits for the mine. So I came down here, and as you can see, 
uh, minus 100, so I went this way. Okay, came all the way down according to, um, you know, the math. This should be, um, actually it wound up being right here. Okay, see where this, uh, see where this cobblestone is? So the original called for it to be right here. And I put it right here, and like I said, it, it's gotten uncrossed, un, unlinked. So I moved it upstairs, and I put this one in, and this one does work, I'm happy to say. So one thing I do need to do, <laughs> I need to put a door right here. I really don't like the zombie pigmen wandering around up here. So that's it. That's a quick tour. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let's do that. That's a quick tour of my, my base and, and some of my plans. Excuse me. Now, if you have followed my prior Let's Play videos, you know that I love Cherry Vanilla. I love the community. I love the people. And they recently updated to 1.9, and this is the new spawn area. So let's see if I can point it out for you. On the left here, we have a lot of the community food farms. So when you first get started, this is a place for you to come grab what you need to get started. Now they do ask, and this is true of pretty much any server, if you harvest it, replant it. Uh, there are pumpkins and melons, wheat, uh, I believe this is a sugar cane and nether wart. Over here is carrots and probably beets. And then inside here, they, this is so cool, they have this little farmer villager who uh, harvests this stuff. There's a mine cart that flows around, and uh, it drops it into the furnace. Look at all that fuel. Drops it into the furnace and cooks them, and, and they pop up right here. So, really neat tool uh, that they've put together here for the community to use. So, you know, you come take your potatoes, and you've got an instant food source. Now, some of this area right over in here, these are shops. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is something. Uh, TMH brought me in here and showed me this. There are some of us that are content creators, and what he did was created a content creator campfire. Isn't that, isn't that fun? So, uh, look, there I am. There's the geeky Minecrafter. That's Minecraft Grand. And some of the others, there's DD Does Games, there's Lord Crazies, I, I watch a lot of his videos, he's pretty fun. Ender D Games, uh, I also watch his. Sebastian Craft, I probably need to check him out, I haven't, I haven't yet. And 1056, so lots of fun stuff there. Okay, we have our shops, little community park areas, benches and tables and stuff like that. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous spawn area. Wouldn't you agree? I know I'm moving kind of fast, uh, but this is just, it's just gorgeous all around. So lots of shops, lots of things like that going on. Uh, up there we have the event center. Uh, I believe there are plans to bring in the PvP world, the creative world, and a couple of others like that. I don't know that they're here yet. There are other community resources, uh, for example, right down here underneath the portal, if I drop down in this little waterway, you'll see that there is a hidden enchant room uh, with anvils and community lapis and community books, although I think, oh yeah, <laughs> uh, so there are uh, community resources that everybody's free to use. Let's jump back up here. Like I said, the community people, the community of people is just amazing. So that's cherryvanilla.org if you'd like to join the server. It is whitelisted, so you will need to fill out an application. And uh, be thorough in what you write down uh, because it will be used to judge whether or not you're going to be allowed to come and play on the server. So my recommendation is that you be as thorough as possible. Uh, and let them know about your experience. I mean, what they're looking for are responsible people who aren't going to terrorize the rest of the community. So that's it. This is the community spawn area. Gorgeous all around. And the whole thing, let's see, where's the map? Uh, I think it's over here. So the whole thing is circular, 
or oval, I guess I should say. So this is the spawn area. So this is the event center. This is the main entrance. Uh, here are the food farms. On the right is are the animal farms, the, the animal pods. There are shops all the way around these two areas. And then I, I guess I don't know what those areas are. I wasn't paying attention. I, I don't spend a lot of time down on the uh, event center down there. Uh, that's going to conclude this tour of the Cherry Vanilla server. Uh, I will do another video soon of uh, building the mob farm. Uh, or, gosh, I've got a lot of projects. Um, I'll put together a video soon with uh, some of my projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, take a second, smash that like button. Uh, it really does help, I, I promise. Um, and if you've got some, some content you want me to see, you know, leave a comment. I'll come check it out. If there's something you want me to show you, also leave a comment. I'll do what I can. Okay, till next time, this is Minecraft Gran, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. Happy mining! Mm -hmm.